get it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We got the goods. Why are you whining like this is for you? It has been quite the week. I'm picking up this vlog <coughs> on Saturday. Um, I've been super sick all week. So sick that Thursday morning at like 5 a.m. I went to the emergency room and was there for like all day. Um... Nothing serious, like, please don't worry, um, baby's totally fine, I just was really sick for, like, three days, like, really, really, really nauseous, really nauseous, and I was keeping stuff down, but I couldn't get the nausea to go away, and I think I just lost control, basically, and, oh, I thought I saw a spider, sorry. I like lost control and like 6 p.m. Wednesday night until about 8 a.m. on Thursday morning, I was throwing up, literally. Like if I tried to eat, I would throw it up. If I tried to suck on a candy, throw it up. If I tried to chew on ice, throw up. It's me having nothing in my stomach, just stomach acid, throwing it up. Like literally I threw up about every 15 to 20 minutes from... 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. and I got so dehydrated 
and my stomach this is what the doctor at the emergency room explained to me that like my stomach had like contracted so many times to throw up and I was so dehydrated like you know how your muscles like in your legs or whatever if you're running and you're dehydrated your legs will start cramping my stomach had like like uh, done this I guess to like throw up so many times and I was so dehydrated that eventually my stomach just was like and it just stayed cramped up and closed and she literally was like it feels like you just have a rock inside you and as you can imagine it was super painful and the last few times that I threw up there was blood in it um not like internal bleeding blood just like your stomach and your esophagus gets irritated and can like rip a little bit again nothing intense but enough for there to be like a little bit of blood and it just wasn't good so I had some IVs I spent like hours and hours and hours I forget even how long because when I got home I was like I fell asleep completely I slept for like 12 hours it's Saturday it's like 2 p.m. right now I got up at like 9 and I've been able to have liquids and what you saw me eat I ate like half of it this morning at like 10 and then like this much of it I don't know I kind of like picked it apart you can't really see because Levi's in the way but yeah I'm just not eating um <clears throat> I feel hungry it's like the most frustrating thing I feel so hungry but my stomach is just really I guess like sensitive that I can only eat a little bit at a time so I'll eat like three bites of something every hour um, but I can eat like normal food now yesterday it was like saltines and water that's like all I could even handle now I'm out like you know I'm eating biscuits and eggs and bacon and stuff that I would normally have and I drank a V8 this morning so and that actually made me feel better because it has lots of B6 in it and B6 helps with nausea it's actually one of the things that people recommend nowadays to take like a b6 vitamin for nausea so the v8 actually really helps with my morning sickness if i can keep it down so yeah so i'm just really really exhausted but there's nothing to worry about the baby was totally fine and like when you're at the hospital like that they monitor the baby the whole time so totally fine i got to see them in the ultrasound because they were checking them every so often <clears throat> their heart rate was a little higher than it, their normal heart rate um, just because I was dehydrated but it was still within the normal range um, for where we're at now I'm 14 weeks and three days a normal range this is all this all got explained to me at the hospital a normal heart rate range for the baby is 140 to 180 the average for my baby is 160 like 158 to 160 and it was like right at 178 for the majority of the time until I got really hydrated so it was just from the the dehydration um so yeah I just like really have to work on staying hydrated and Nathan is out right now he's kind of trying to wear Aster out and he's running some errands and stuff the other super duper fun thing that happened this week is that the house um it we backed out we backed out of the house so what happened was um buying when you buy a house you don't okay so basically you say yes I want this house you make an offer yeah I'm gonna buy it and then like at least six weeks of paperwork needs to be done so we're getting through this paperwork and the person who built the house it's like a guy who builds houses it's really common out here I have no idea um, where everyone that watches my videos are from really common like a lot of people around here work with their hands like they build houses or they're plumbers or they're drywall people like and they build houses so this guy <clears throat> he builds houses and uh, he basically just wasn't forthcoming with a lot of information so uh, it's an it was a new construction although the foundation was old and not good the <clears throat> air conditioner was like six years old and used on a different house one of the windows got installed broken and the air conditioner and the water heater weren't even working right 
that all came up when we got the inspection done so that's normal like you get you always get an inspection inspection done and then you have 10 days to pull out and you don't lose anything like working with at the bank and she's amazing so she was like okay so this person is being fraudulent for this house to qualify <clears throat> as like a new construction and all of that. It has to have X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Like it had to have all these things and they didn't have it. Like none of the wood was treated for termites. The foundation wasn't good. Um, There's a few other things I can't remember. Nathan would know. And it the guy, first of all, refused to do it. So it, he refused to fix any of it before we bought it. And it's like, but you're being fraudulent. Like this house doesn't qualify as new construction or FHA or VA or any of those things because you didn't, like you literally didn't meet the criteria. So this house is like not worth what you're trying to sell it for. And he refused to fix all of it. And so we totally backed out, like obviously, because we're not gonna buy a freaking shanty house. Like, yeah, it looks really nice, but it's basically like, stapled and glued together like absolutely not so <clears throat> as disappointing as that is it's good that we you know we found out all of that stuff otherwise yeah it's a pretty house now but in two years it'll be falling apart so uh yeah so the search continues and that's honestly to me like the most stressful part of buying a house is like looking for a house so we literally pulled out yesterday, and tonight at 6, we're going to look at a new house. Um, but this one, okay, I don't need my hopes up, but it looks so good in the pictures. The house isn't new construction, <clears throat> but it looks really good in the pictures, and it looks like the people who live there took care of it. Uh, we could get there, and it could be a total shithole, so I'm trying not to get my hopes up. But if we get there and it looks as good as it looks in the pictures, girl, girl, and it's literally the same price and is on more land. Are you freaking kidding me? So, like, if this house works out, I'm seriously like, thank you, Jesus. Like, this was meant to be. We were meant to just wait and wait and wait and get out of that other house and get this one. I am so excited. So... I'm really, I'm like crossing my fingers. I was going to film, I still might. Um, I just really feel like shoot. So I don't really know if I have the energy, but I'm gonna see how this food kind of settles and then I'm really burpy when I eat too. So I'm gonna see how this food settles, see how I feel. We have to leave in like two and a half hours. Yeah, we have to leave in two and a half hours and I might muster up the energy to put on some makeup before we go. Um, and if I do do that, I will film it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll let you know. And I can't film while we're at the house, obviously, because it's not ours yet. But you'll get an update after we're there if we liked it or not. So, yeah. Okay. I haven't thrown up yet today, so that's good. Yesterday I only threw up four times, which is like normal for pregnancy. So um, I just did some laundry and washed all my makeup brushes. And yeah, I couldn't, like I literally couldn't even bring myself to edit. Um, so it's Tuesday. I don't have anything filmed to post like makeup wise. So maybe I'll have something up by Thursday. I have no idea. Uh, literally like holding up this camera is like... A lot um but I've been holding down food since last night so that's good this morning I feel fine I'm just really tired I have kind of a headache but I'm cleaning I have a phone a meeting over the phone <sighs> at 1 today it's like 11 o'clock I've been up since 8 I've just been you know moving a little slow and I've just been cleaning oh what I didn't do is update the house situation uh, it's Saturday uh, about 8.05 <laughs> and it's a girl's day it's a girl's day it's a girl's day so 
had my V8, we're eating breakfast out and lunch. Me and mom, I'm very excited. So we're leaving soon, so let's go, let's get ready, you know? I'm not gonna put on any makeup, but you know, I'm gonna <laughs> fix this a little bit. <laughs> Okay, girl. I always put my like hydrating and scrubby mask all the way down here because I have this like neck beard of dry skin. So I gotta get that under control. But yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> I feel like shit this morning. Like my stomach doesn't feel good, but like my energy is okay. So that's good because I was really worried about being super tired and like walking around a mall all morning was not going to help. So yeah. All right. So skincare is done. I'm pretty sure I have an updated morning routine and I'll link it below. I'm pretty sure I do. If I don't, I'll do one. Uh. But these breakouts are still in that like wet stage which is gross but it's true and i hate putting makeup over acne like that um probably by tomorrow they'll be like dried out enough that i can feel comfortable putting makeup on but i just have a little bit of mascara on i have the eyes right from lush mascara love it love it on no makeup days because it's like a wheatgrass um mascara it helps your lashes grow and thicken so Love that. And then clear brow gel and some lip balm. Good to go. All right, so you know that whole thing about me saving money and not shopping and cleaning out my supply? That was a pipe dream. So here we go. I got a lot of Lush. <laughs> I got a lot of Lush. Got a lot of Lush, okay. I've been saving for this house. Oh, that's the thing. The last time I left you with the house situations that we pulled out of the other one, so. We found a new one that's like a bajillion times better, more land, and the ba the master bathroom is amazing, and it has a huge tub, so I'm, I'm not going to not have a tub anymore. And I went to a Lush that I don't normally go to. Uh, they had extra large jars of things, and I said treat myself, so I did. Anyway, so the first place I actually stopped at this mall was... Oh, and that's the other thing. It's like a girl's day, okay, with my mom. We went to a mall that's like an hour away from us, so we made a day of it, okay? So, first we stopped at Clark's, and I wasn't expecting to get anything because I just never shopped there, but my mom and dad really like getting their shoes there. So we stopped in, and then, oh my god, I got something so cute. So, I got this bag... And oh, how freaking cute is that? And it's like this little mesh, and you can't tell in here, but there's actually like gold threading through the whole thing, so it's kind of glimmery. And look how cute with the little tassels. I love it so much. And it was on an amazing sale. So I don't know if the sale is still going on when this is up, um, but it's 30% off wallets and handbags right now. And this one was already marked down from $70 to 60 plus an extra 30% off. I got this for like 45 bucks and it's so cute. It's like, uh, it's so perfect. And all I've had for a long time is my super big black lush bag because my other purse broke and I just never replaced it. And I don't have multiple bags because I'm just not that type of person. So now I have a new purse and I'm so excited. It's so cute. I got these little peachy ones. How adorable. These little peaches on them. Cute. These ones are just like little ankle socks, but I thought they were cute. The orange, orange is my favorite color, so I got those. And then I got these little floral ones. So cute. So cute. Okay. The rest of it is lush. <laughs> the rest of it's lush. Oh my goodness. So I'm not going to try. I'm trying to just try to get through everything. A lot of the stuff that I have doubles for, uh, one, one is mine and one is my mom's. Um, so yeah. And keep in mind, I do get an employee discount. So just like, I'm going to give little bits about the things I bought and why, but let's just get going. So retread extra large, had to get it. 
I love this conditioner. It's a black pot so you can put it into recycle. It's like, I think it's like the thickest conditioner they have. I love it. It smells really earthy too, so I like it. I got three scrubs. I got the Ocean Salt, the Scrub Scrub Scrub, and the Magic Crystals, all in the extra large. So Scrub 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 is by far, I think I've talked about this before, by far my favorite scrub. It smells so fucked up when you smell it in the jar because it has sulfur in it. I don't even have body acne. If you have body acne, this is so good. The sulfur, it's a charcoal and sulfur scrub. I think it might even have, it has lime puree in there too, so it's gonna exfoliate. And it has lactic acid. So, and the fine, the scrub in it is fine sea salt. Super scrubby, it also, also lathers like a shower gel. So, really awesome two-in-one if you have body acne i love it i love this just because i love the smell of it it smells really gross when you're smelling it in the jar but it smells amazing when you're using it and if you don't believe me go into a lush and try it at the sink it smells amazing and it feels so good on your skin magic crystals this is the peppermint scrub it's that bright purple one it has three different types of peppermint and Epsom salt to scrub, and the reason I got this was for my swollen pregnancy legs. They're not that bad now, but the place we're moving is really, really far from any Lush, so um, I wanted to get this XL jar while I could, and I'm really just planning on using that on my legs when they're really swollen later on in my pregnancy. Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub, just a really good one. I don't regularly have this but as you can see I'm doing this my brightness is so up right now so you cannot see how bad I mean you can kind of see but it's like 10 times worse in person and this exfoliates two different ways because the, the salt will scrub and there's vodka soaked limes and lemons it's just limes oh it's grapefruit and lime um, which will chemically exfoliate so love those love 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 i'm pretty sure that extra large is gonna last me my whole pregnancy while i'm having this terrible acne and all this scarring so i think we're good there um i got a mask and magnanimity and a cup of coffee i use these super regularly like at least once a week so i just picked up some fresh ones i'm probably halfway through my jars right now um and i'll like multi-mask with these so i put mask and magnanimity where i'm having my acne cup of coffee everywhere else leave it for 20 minutes scrub it all off amazing then i got a pink peppermint i wish they had it xl in this one um at this store so this is the peppermint and arnica oil lotion it's the foot lotion but you can just use it for pain and again i'm gonna use it later on in my pregnancy for my swollen pregnancy legs and probably a little bit of my back pain so was that too long i think it was Anyway, so my plan actually, so you know, because what I'm going to do right after this, my plan for this weekend was to pack up my bathroom because I have a ton of shit. I have 10 times more shower gels, scrubs, face masks, sheet masks than any makeup I could ever have. Like this shouldn't even be a makeup channel. This is a skincare and body care channel because I'm obsessed, like more than makeup, I'm obsessed with like shower shit bath stuff all of that so i have a lot of that stuff to pack up so basically our closing date for this the new house is the 2nd of july so i'm literally just going to pack all of my bathroom stuff now because that's an easy place for me to start and just leave enough stuff for myself for like the rest of this month and call it a day because it's getting all of my clothes going through my clothes is going to be a task and a half so anyway let's start with the oils so i got oh this one's for my mom the pearl it smells just like rose jam um <clears throat> if you like that smell if you like roses it's like rose and a little bit of sweet it smells so good <sighs> revelations bath oil i'll take one out i got three of them beauty it's really earthy that's why i like it i got myself two therapies um, I did get two of these for myself. This is the Therapy Massage Bar. I rub this all over my stomach and my boobs. It's for my pregnancy. My skin has gotten so, so, so freaking dry. And that's going to help with some stretching in the long run. And just with my dryness currently. I got three of the Floating Island Bath Oils. It is like a vanilla dream. 
that bath oil. It's so delish. I also got myself two hotties. So Wiki Magic Muscles is usually recommended for like muscles and stuff, but I like hottie more. Um, I just happen to like hottie more. Um, I got two of those for myself. <clears throat> those are the only things I, other than the bath oils, those are for me too. Um, those are the only other things I doubled up on for myself because my skin has been so dry through this whole pregnancy and it's only getting drier. It's terrible. Um, so the hottie I use on, I could just use therapy just if I was dry, but the hottie I use on my calves and my hamstrings because they've been so like sore and tight. Um, I got myself a re-up on Light Touch and Argon. If you've seen my skincare routine, I did talk about how I use those, so I'll link that below. Um, I got four of these. I just bought them out because I um, love them. I'm going to give two to my mom and two for me, um, a full of grace. Just because we stock up, we just, yeah. Double Vitality Bath Oil. It's the little pink star. It's really citrusy, so I love it. So if I'm in the citrus mood, I'm living for that. Each Peach Massage Oil. I got this for my mom. It's peach and lemon. And my mom uses it on her arms. She has dark brown um, celiac spots on her arms. And that lightens them up really nicely and moisturizes them. So she really likes that. So I got that for her. And I got her the black rose bath bomb once. And it smells like rose jam. And she loved it. So I got her another one of those bath bombs. And I got her that massage bar as well. And then I just got one You've Been Mangoed bath oil. It's another like citrusy one, but it's like obviously mango. Okay, well, I think the rest is bath bombs to be honest, to be quite honest. I kind of want to just like pop up a picture. I don't know if that'll even be like, I don't know, because <laughs> it's going to be like hard. I don't want to take them all in and out of these bags. Kitsune, got a kitsune. Super like vanilla, delicious, scrum diddly umptious. I got, so the have, Lush has the giant bath bombs right now. Can you hear that? So it's these two, like huge bath bombs. I got a fruity and a lavender. The lavender's for my mom, the fruity's for me. Um, amazing. Oh my God. So the lavender has, I believe it's like rose, chamomile, and lavender. And then the fruit one has dried fruit in the middle. Amazing, amazing. Ooh, Yognog. So if you're a diehard Lushy, then you might have seen the Yognog uh, bubble bar during Christmas. They came out with a bath bomb that smells just like it. I got four turmeric lattes, two for me, two for my mom. Um, so good. It's like, <sighs> Yognog is one of those other ones that's kind of like sweet and vanilla. So is turmeric. It's like this sweet vanilla. Turmeric's a little bit more perfumey, turmeric -y, obviously, but it has that like baked good scent to it that I really like. Here's that black rose. Let me just take this one out because it is really, really pretty. This one's for my mom. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. In every single way. Okay. Got that for my mom. It looks black. It turns the water this gorgeous shade of deep purple. It's amazing. What do I got here? Ooh, strawberries and cream bath bomb. That's for me. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I got two of the Geo Fizz. Those are actually both for me. <laughs> selfish, selfish. But it's like super earthy, and they're like the small but powerful. It's like the same size as Butterball, but super earth. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, okay, so... The campaign right now is the shark fin soap to sh save the sharks. It's six dollars for this bar of soap, and it's the um, sea vegetable soap. It smells so good. It's like uh, lavender and lavender and lime. I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so so good. And 100% of the proceeds um, of this cut of soap go to shark attack or save the sharks. It's the the fund if you go into Lush. Or even go on to like their Instagram or their website. You can find everything about it and exactly where your money goes. So it's amazing. I got two cold faces for myself. 
It's the black uh, charcoal facial soap that I really, really love. I use that at night. It's the only thing. Charcoal cleansers are the only thing that gets my makeup out of my pores. Um, and that one doesn't dry my skin out. That soap. I got three Karma shower bombs for my dad. Two or three. Just two. Um, he actually loves Karma. And I was going to say that. If you have a guy in your life and you don't know what to get them from Lush, get them anything Karma. It might strike you as like not something they will like, but trust me, dudes like that smell. And they have so many, there's a Karma soap, there's shower bombs, there's a lotion, there's a perfume, there's a bath bomb right now, there's a bubble bar right, uh, all the time. It's really good. Moonspell bath bomb. Really cute. It's one of the ones that comes in two pieces. And it's uh, partly a jelly bomb, but it's not like the jelly bombs that take up the whole bath. I don't really love those for myself. It's just enough to feel moisturized, which I really like. So, but I think I got that one from my mom. Tender is the night bath bomb. There's a massage bar that also smells just like that. It smells so good. What does it smell like? It's hard to even place it, but it's in the same vein as Rose Jam, where it's like a little bit floral with some sweetness in there. So good, so good. Um, olive Branch, this is for me, Olive Branch Bath Bomb. My favorite shower gel from Lush is Olive Branch. If you oh, scrub, 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 shower, um, scrub with Olive Branch shower gel mixed together, <clears throat> smells so good. Royalty Bath Bomb. What does that smell like? It's very clean. It almost has like a baby powder smell to it in a good way. And it's, there's jasmine in there. Got that for my mom. She loves jasmine. A couple of the floral ones today. Got my mom a, a goddess. Also jasmine, but it's w more perfumey. Um, that one's been around for a minute. There's also a new perfume that's jasmine too. Or um, goddess perfume. And there's a bar soap. Um, this is the <clears throat> Star Spell. Another one of those ones that comes in half, really cute. It has popping candies and little stars that like dissipate in the water. So cute. So cute. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, those are the other two turmeric lattes. I did get four of those. Two for me, two for mom, because it's that good. It is that good. <clears throat> I got one Dear John for myself. I kind of feel like I should have got two, but... I was shopped out at that point. Coriander and clove, and it smells so good. I also have the shower gel, and I want to get the perfume, but um, my shop is sold out, and the shop I was at today was sold out, so how am I going to get the freaking perfume? <sighs> I want it so bad. I might just have to order it online, but then I don't get my discount. Oh, yeah, so as much as this looks crazy, I do get an employee discount, so just keep that in mind. And some of it's gifts, and I've been saving, and I treated myself. So all of that combined means I spent way too much money. Two Avo Bombs. I thought my mom would really like this. It smells like a fruity uh, fruit loop, but in a really good way. It's lemongrass and um, avocado, and it has olive oil in it, so it's really moisturizing. Two Pirates of the Caribbean. I might give one to my mom if she likes it. I don't, it's really, really earthy. I don't know, but sometimes she surprises me and she'll like certain ones. <laughs> I got a golden handshake because I have been so dry, including my hands. This is the hand mask. And if you don't think you need this from Lush, you need this. It's like $5. You get so many uses out of it. And it lasts like at least a month. Like once you melt it down, you're good for like a month. It feels so good. Also, I put this on my legs sometimes if I'm going out and I shave and I want to look extra moisturized, extra glowy. I do it on my legs too. So good. All right. Last one in this bag. Oh, I got my mom a jungle conditioner because she actually used mine one time and she really, really, really liked it because I used that one. Um, so I, got, I picked her up one. Mm, yum. I got my mom the iris flower bath bomb 
we both love our florals but her she likes floral like more than me i kind of like float between a few things like i really love floral earthy i love probably the most and then like some things that are like buttery and sweet like yog dog is kind of pushing it but i can get over it because it makes my skin feel really good but like butterball from lush floating island from lush so good. so good i got two this is the chamomile right is it the cam or jasmine flower is it jasmine? that's jasmine flower right there i got two of those for my mom can you tell this woman loves jasmine yeah <laughs> probably should have got her the uh goddess perfume but my mom i would give my dad the karma perfume as well but they're both not really perfume or cologne wearers they used to be but they just don't anymore so choco mint do not sleep on this one guys it is one of the new like bath bombs for the celebration do not sleep on it it feels so good yeah it's weird like maybe you don't want to be in like a minty bath but come on it smells so good and it's super moisturizing and it's a super slow fizzer so it's really really lovely in the bath splash bath bomb really really clean smell i do like that one i got that one for my mom though I have a couple, I think the last few are like, just not really, oh, Ginger Ninja, oh my god. It's like a sweet ginger smell, it's beautiful and perfect, the glitter is beautiful and perfect, and it has little ninja stars that come out in the water too, so freaking cute, really fun for kids too, that one's really fun. And then I also got my mom a geode, this one's a little bit on like the sweeter side as well but kind of just like a clean smell again the, with this one the water is really beautiful after so we did it oh my god whoo i'm gonna i yeah i just didn't want to take everything i would have taken way too long to take everything out of the bag but we did it we did it i hauled it and we did it so this is already at 22 minutes uh i'm just gonna freaking go i will see y'all later